Welcome forward to star 42 of our reflections and the three words we're going to be using today to help us orientate ourselves through the scripture are chastity, immaculate and passion. And it is, I suppose, worth pointing out that these three words have been chosen at random with the, the scriptures, which has again been chosen at random. But today, coincidentally, if we believe in coincidences, is the, the mass for the Immaculate Conception. And it comes to the, you know, and also the end of year of, of St. Joseph. So that, that's interesting having those, those three words there, particularly Immaculate. So... The scriptures enter through the narrow gate for the gate is wide and the road is easy that leads to destruction and there are many who take it for the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life and there are few who find it so if you want to pause the video give it some thought then uh, please do so well, I think with this particular script, again, a very familiar one, maybe over familiar, and therefore we don't give it as much attention as we should. We've now got the opportunity of looking at it and trying to orientate for it with three completely different words, which should be interesting to see what comes out of that thinking. But what I like about this bit of scripture immediately is that I can see how Lama can be applied to it straight away. So you could look at it literally, what does that say? And I think it, that, that's clear. Uh, then you could look for allegory, but you could look for your own allegorical examples as well, make them up. Uh, looking for moral metaphor here, and about extracting that and then using it to just sort of think about how you live your life. And also looking for analogy, which will help understanding, or all those things will help understanding so it's not just about recall of information we want to recall information but we certainly want to understand it and using that llama technique will certainly help there so i think th the first thing to know is that you're given two choices because there's two roads to take so a and b and what will help decide which road to take now in life we have choices all the time and sometimes it's not easy sometimes you get a choice between many things in fact the more choices you get the harder it is to make a choice and and that's actually true and in fact the more choices you've got where even when you do make a choice you feel less satisfied because you keep thinking about all the choices you didn't take now that's a that's worth discussing but not now so here we've got these three words, chastity, immaculate, and passion. Uh, again, chastity is a virtue, a moral virtue, and certainly comes under the umbrella of temperance. And I do think it's um, a virtue that's not always understood. People confuse it with celibacy. So, uh, so you need to look at what is the difference there. Um, I think in terms of chastity here, it helps us make decisions. So if you are chaste, if you are chaste and you practice chastity, then you will make decisions. It's, it's a virtue that requires us to use our reason and faith working together to actually sort of, if you like, to put or place our sexual desires under control or under guidance. And what's, a, what's good about it is that it also honours the self, but it's also honouring the other person. So again, if you have choices around that particular virtue. Now what I like, uh, again, this just ringing a bell really, that chastity comes, I suppose there's the tradition that it's about wisdom of the wholeness. Chastity is about the wisdom of wholeness. And I suppose that wisdom linked in with temperance and prudence and so forth will actually help us guide our way through, through life in the right ways and keeping our passions under control or under guidance within reason and, and faith. So therefore helping us make the right decisions. So going back to the word immaculate to bring, try and bring it all together, clearly that could all come under that umbrella. But 
We're going to talk about the Immaculate Conception. And today is the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. And Mary said um, at the Annunciation, Mary said yes, because she had a choice. And uh, when she appeared at Lourdes, she actually said, I am the Immaculate Conception. And what does that actually mean? So, again, I suppose without wanting to go on, this bit of scripture, through, the, I suppose, using those three words, is about choice, about saying yes to the right things and using virtues to make sure that when we do make a choice we're maximizing i suppose the probability of making the right choice but not just for ourselves but for other people just think about the decisions that the immaculate conception made anyway a lot there god bless